Peace family, this is Coach Chris, your intuitive holistic coach, coming to give you guys another reading. I hope all is well. I hope you are loving yourself, protecting yourself, and respecting yourself along your journey. Okay, we're going to see what's in the energy and what messages um, come through for you guys. First, we're going to clear the energy with the singing bowl. Shay. All right, family. Like I said, I hope all is well. I hope y'all have been having a great day. I hope you had a good weekend, good Easter, but you know, whatever holidays you get, uh, celebrate. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna start with this deck and then I'm gonna pull some tarot for some to do something different. So, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Divine. We want messages from you and only you. We ask for your protection during this reading. We ask for your guidance and clarity along our journey. And we thank you for everything that you've done, you're doing, and you will do in the future. I say, for spirit guides, divine ancestors, what messages do we have for the collective from the gateway of light activation oracles for spirit guides, divine ancestors? What messages do we have for the collective from the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle? For Spirit Guides, Divine Ancestors, what other messages do we have for the collective from the Gateway? <laughs> okay. Uh, any more messages for the collective? From the gateway of light activation oracle that was just um like we just got that card but source sources is, is is necessary okay so the first card <laughs> soul star activation fulfilling soul contracts remembering who you are we had we had that one too <laughs> well you know well, we are in Mercury Retrograde. Okay, Venusian Galactic Council, Star Being Guides, Answer the Call, Time to Shine. Okay. Order of Meshkidek, I think it's pronounced. Embraced by Light, Mission Uncovered, Don't Give Up. And then Lumerian Seed Codes, Embracing Sensitivity, uniqueness living with grace okay family so these are the pink and um purple a lot of pink and purple the bottom of the deck is crown chakra upgrade divine connection holy experiences miraculous energy and at the top is the third eye activation brow chakra inner vision clear seeing so that's like confirmation of the cause that's here like you're gonna you're gonna gain some clarity you'll be able to see some things you're about to get connected or some things are about to be uncovered looks like and i was saying it's a lot of uh purple the crown chakra and then the pink for the another color for the heart chakra the heart chakra is actually green but a lot of people you know they use pink. So, spirit guides, divine ancestors, we ask for your protection for this reading from the tarot. We ask for your guidance and clarity along that journey. And we ask for messages from you and only you. We ask for some confirmation with the tarot for the oracle cards that were pulled. Ashe. So, most it be, and so it is. So spirit guides, divine ancestors, what messages do you have for the collective from the tarot? So spirit guides, divine ancestors, what messages do you have for the collective to clarify the messages that you gave us in the oracle card? So spirit guides, divine ancestors, what messages do you have for the collective from the tarot? So spirit guides, divine ancestors. Okay. So we have the Knight of Swords, 
we have the eight of pentacles The spirit guide, divine ancestors, will have a message for you have for the collective. So, the spirit guide, divine ancestors. Okay. okay. <laughs> the Queen of Cups. The Star card. Six of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Source spirit guides, divine ancestors, whatever messages do you have for the collective? Source spirit guides, this is some repeats from yesterday. Source spirit guides, divine ancestors from a whole nother deck, y'all. What other messages do we have for the collective? Oops. We, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Hermit card. Okay, I just dropped all of the cards. I don't know. Hold on. I know what I'm going to do. This is just better this way for me. These cards are, the tarot cards are more narrow than the normal cards. So them underneath these wide um, oracle cards is just not working for me. <laughs> Holy Spirit, guys, divine ancestors. Four more cards for the collector from the tarot deck. So, spirit guides, divine answers to clarify the reading. What other messages do you have for the collective from the tarot deck to clarify the reading? So, spirit guides, divine ancestors, can you clarify this? Um, five of Pentacles. So, spirit guides, divine ancestors, you have two. Um. Major Arcanas too. So I have to do a healing. You have the Hermit and the Star card. So Spirit Guides, Divine Ancestors. What other messages do you have for the collective? For Spirit Guides, Divine Ancestors. What other messages do you have for the collective? To clarify this reading from the tarot. You have the Knight of Wands. Underneath the Six of Wands and the Knight of Swords, you have two knights. So something coming in fast. Something's coming in fast. Some information's coming in fast. Some news is coming in fast. So Spirit God's divine ancestors. What other messages do you have for the collector? Oh, oh no, that's not. <laughs> I was about to say, this is a whole row of wines, but it's a swords and a wine. This is two knights and one. Queen of Pentacles. Well, this is a whole row of Pentacles, I tell you that. Sword Spirit Guides, Divine Ancestors. What other messages do we have for the collective? So you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. You have two queens, family. And then I say, um, with the purple, the crown chakra. So some of y'all being crowned. You move into a status of royalty. From poverty to royalty. And then with the six of wands. <laughs> you see the little uh, crown on his head. I don't know if that's a knight or whatever. But you see the crown on his head. So you going into some kind of, you move into some kind of royal space in your life. Whatever healing work you did, you're leveling up. You're moving to a higher status. So it's, <laughs> Will of Fortune. You, like I said, you are leveling up. You are moving to a higher status. You're going to the next level, family. So now you have three major arcanas. The hermit, the will of fortune, and the thighs, whatever who healing work you did. And you did a lot of healing work in the ace of swords, clarity, new information. I said information was coming in with the knight of swords. I say thank you, source. Knight of swords. So the page of cups is at the top of the deck and the devil is at the bottom and underneath the emperor baby. So this is a big deal. This is a big deal, family. All right, 
I think you probably, you might have gotten a little obsessed with your work or building, whatever it was you were doing. And maybe you, oh yeah, with the hermit, you probably got like hyper focus and got into tunnel vision, working on yourself, healing yourself, learning um, whatever it was that you needed to learn the information to reach your highest self, to reach this next level to complete that old cycle and the will of fortune is turning in your favor so because the, with the five of pentacles it's like being left out in the cold it's um you know financial issues being stressed about your finances and things like that but it's also you know you're coming it's a change. It's a number five. So it's a change. So you're going to be coming out of that, obviously, with the <laughs> the eight of pentacles is saying it took you a lot of, okay, what this is saying is it took a lot of work for you to get out of, um, out of poverty, out of scarcity mindset, lack mindset. It took a lot of work for you to think maybe you are the type of person that you felt like you had to do it on your own, all on your own with the Eight of Pentacles. But Source is saying, Source is going to send you some help with the Three of Pentacles to build your wealth, to get you to this next level. Source is going to send some support, some emotional and financial support with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Source is going to send you some emotional, 11.44 on the clock, some emotional and financial help to help you to um shift into this new paradigm to shift into this new way of life because the wheel is turning the wheel is turning in your favor family you might have gone through a period of isolation with the hermit card you may be a shaman. I'm hearing a shaman because a lot of shamans, they, they have to go through trials and they have to take, they got to do a lot of work and they got to go through, take a lot of steps to, you know, become. And then when I said shaman too, this made me think of it too. You see the people, they like in a church and, you know, you may be of some kind of, you may be, and then there's like stained color glass. Like they're passing up a church window. So some of y'all may be like a priest, a priestess. You may be, um, and it's not just, you know, religion. You could be um, some kind of uh, high priest or priestess of uh, some kind of other spiritual practice, ephi, whatever you, whatever, you know, whatever resonates with you. But even if you're not connected to a community, um and you're doing the work on your own because the hermit is a loner so you may be doing the work on your own but source is gonna assist you and bring in some people gonna source is gonna lead you to a community source is gonna lead you to a community that will be supportive with the queen of pentacles that's gonna be um is gonna assist you with your emotions and that's why you had to hermit and be alone for so long. You had to be um, isolated for so long because you had to do the healing with the star card. Because your major arcanas are the star card, the hermit, and the will of fortune. So that's why you had to, and it, it your time alone and your time healing gain it's gaining you clarity or it has gained you clarity oh my god <laughs> in this middle row is six of wands three of pentacles and the hermit which is the number nine three six nine y'all manifestations are coming to fruition the work that you've done the work that you're doing <laughs> has not been in vain it is going to be fruitful family the will has turned in your favor your manifestations are blooming your manifestations is going to bring in support community unity is going to bring in love 
compassion. Your heart is going to be full. And you're going to be supported with the Queen of Pentacles. And you're going to have fun with the Six of Wands. Like, you're going to be... People are going to look at you and people are going to be proud of you because, like, like I said, you've been in isolation. You haven't really been around a lot of people. A lot of people don't know what you're doing. They don't know. It's like you fell off the face of the earth. <laughs> you probably stopped posting on social media. You probably um, haven't been going out. You haven't been connecting with other people because... <sighs> Because you're a sensitive, you're an empath, you you can absorb other people's energies. And for the work that you had to do for you to complete those old cycles, you couldn't stay connected to old people because they kept pulling you back. So Source had to cut that out so you can gain a clarity. And now you're leveling up, you're moving to a whole other level, you're... you're All your hard work is paying off. You've been diligent. You've been disciplined. And now you're going to be full of charisma, full of life. Where you were before. <laughs> before you were tired. You were. You were. Your old life was draining you. That's why Swords had to isolate you. That's why you had to. Like I said, you are an empath and you absorb energy and the energies that you were around, um, they were energy vampires. So you was absorbing their negative energy and they were absorbing your positive energy, but they didn't have positive energy to replenish you. All they could give you was negative energy. So you, you, you became bankrupt spiritually. You didn't have any energy to give. You didn't have any source. Source didn't want you to die because you would have died had you stayed, had you kept forcing yourself to go around people that were not in alignment with who you are supposed to be, who you want to be, who you came on this planet to be. They are no longer aligned with that. So Source had to pull you out of it and pull you into isolation with the Hermit card. Source had to, you had to go into the darkness and find the light and come out and do, and heal and gain that clarity. Because some people say that the Hermit, the uh, light in the Hermit card is the star. You see that star? I don't know if y'all can see. There is a star in that lantern, in that lamp. And, <laughs> and that's the star card that's enlightenment that's wisdom that's healing so in your time of isolation you gained enlightenment you gained wisdom you know now that those energies were not they were more of a detriment than a benefit to you and you're about to come out a whole new person. You're about to come out and people won't recognize you. And the news, people are going to start talking about it with the Knight of Swords. People are going to start talking about you. And, um, you know, people probably already are saying things because they don't know what you're doing. And maybe they have quieted down because it's been such a, it's been a while. But they're going to start again because... Somebody gonna say, oh, I saw such and such. <laughs> I saw the chosen one and they look good. They lost weight or they gained weight. They smell good. They taking care of themselves now. <laughs> you know they got a new car. You know they got a new house. <laughs> Yo, this is what I'm hearing. People, I wonder how they got that. But it ain't... You don't need to explain yourself to people. You don't need to um prove anything to anybody you just need to live your life source said just live your life and be happy just live your life and be happy who cares what they think who cares how they feel they don't matter because like i said source is blessing you with new people 
a new community, a new support system with the Three of Pentacles. And these people are going to be on the same frequency as you. And these people are going to be actively uh, working to become better, to do more, to be their highest self. So you're not going to worry about having to fall off with them. Or y'all no longer aligned. I mean, it may happen at some point. Um, but for the most part, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are... That's your soul tribe. You're getting connected to your soul tribe. And I'm looking at the pinnacles, all three of these pinnacles. The number three is so freaking significant, y'all. The number three is significant. That's that's integration. <laughs> that's that integration, y'all. Are integrating your your integrating family. All right, and in these pinnacles, it looks like a star. Like you are a star. You are a light being. With the six of wands, you probably will be what you may um be an entertainer, you may be an influencer, you may be an author, an artist. You just are about to be an inspiration or encouragement or something. You're about to be on the front. You've been I just heard nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> Y'all saw dirty dancing. <laughs> but you you're no longer about to play the back seat. You're about to be, if if you don't want to be, you only need to share whatever you want to share. You don't have to share everything. But if you choose to not be in the forefront, your story is going to be told. Is what Source is saying. So if you, you know, physically don't want to be seen, um, you don't want to made it, be made a big deal of. You're going to be victorious. You're going to win. And your story is going to be talked about. How you persevered. How you made it through. Okay, family. So let's read the card. All right. Okay. So first we are going to start with the with this first card. And that is... Okay. Order of Melchizedek. Let's see. Melchizedek, whose name means king of righteousness, is the first high priest mentioned. Not say one of y'all is a priest or priestess. <laughs> is the first high priest mentioned in the Bible. The one who initiated all the great teachers that followed him. He is mentioned in several Abrahamic texts, including the Dead Sea Scrolls and also the Ka Kabbalist Zahar. He is an ancient gatekeeper of the light who is dedicated to helping all those walking the spiritual path to take the initiatory steps to align with the light. The best way to describe this great being is a wizard. When you invoke him, you will feel the presence of a loving and angelic grandfather who wants to guide you to your greatness. The order of Melchizedek, which was mentioned by Jesus in the New Testament, is a divine order of very high frequency light beings, angels, and masters who are working together as an energetic force dedicated to lighten up and outshining all darkness and bringing a greater balance of masculine and feminine energy to the earth. Its members include... Jesus Christ, Archangel Michael, Archaea Faith, and Mother Mary. By connecting with these cosmic beings, we give permission for our energy to be upgraded <laughs> by light and to light so that we can become an even greater vessel of purpose for the world. So y'all, y'all was getting an upgrade, how to connect. When you're feeling challenged by something that feels like a big life lesson, call in the order, order of Melchizedek, light bearers, angelic beings, and cosmic guides. Thank you for enveloping me in your brilliant crystal clear light. Your message. 
You have learned so much and are now recognizing all the great lessons your experiences and challenges have brought you. The order of Melchizedek is coming to you today to encourage you to continue on this pathway and not to give up. Even in moments of darkness and fear, there is the opportunity for you to share your light. If you're feeling overwhelmed, it's imperative for you to know you're not alone. Light is with you and within you. And by invoking spiritual support, you will be able to muster up the strength, courage, and focus you need to surmount whatever challenges you face. I say family. So it's just, um, told me somebody need to listen to that, uh, it's an NDI re song called Strength, Courage, and Wisdom. So I said, listen to that song if you're feeling a little low, you're feeling defeated, you need some encouragement. Um, it's India Ari. I think Ari is spelled A R I E, I think. Uh, India Ari, it might be I R I E. But it's strength, courage, and wisdom that's been inside of me all along. Strength, courage, and wisdom inside of me. Okay. Okay, so the next card, family, is... I was trying to find it. Okay, the next card is Lumerian Seed Codes. Embracing sensitivity, uniqueness, living with grace. Lumeria was a civilization that was in the middle of the Pacific Ocean in ancient times. The inhabitants of this sacred land lived in complete harmony with nature and had a connection with every living being, similar to the movie Avatar. Their inner vision was fully activated to the point where it is thought that their pineal gland was fully developed and they could see for hundreds of miles in every direction in a similar way to the sonar of dolphins and whales. The majority operated from their heart space, <laughs> honoring one another with nature, so much so that when civilization came to an end through a cataclysmic event, most likely the plates of the earth shifting, causing volcanic eruptions and a tsunami, most of them ascended. Okay, that's what it said. It is said that these highly attuned beings knew that their civilization would end and decided to send healing waves into another part of the world for future civilizations to benefit from. They telepathically channeled their frequencies into a thought from that would thought form that would become crystals that would be found thousands, possibly millions of years later. These Lumerian seeds are a type of quartz crystal mostly found in Brazil and Colombia. They are powerful crystals with striations similar to barcodes engraved on their faces. They have a feminine receptive energy that is said to help us step into a more feminine way of being in order to help the evolution of the species. How to connect. Visualize yourself on an island surrounded by pale blue waters living in harmony with all living beings if you own a lumerian seed crystal hold it in your hand your left hand call out to the ancient ones of lumeria and invite them to share their wisdom your message you are a highly sensitive being you might feel that this is a curse but this card is here to let you know that it is a gift it indicates that you have spent lifetimes upon lifetimes living with a giant shield up to stop the world seeing the real you. But you are a highly unique soul with incredible gifts that are worth sharing. Through embracing your uniqueness, you can help many others embrace their own. This lifetime is a more graceful existence with less defense and more trust. It's not about protecting yourself, but stepping into the space of surrender and revealing your true self. I say, I told y'all, you're about to be seen, family. You've been in hermit mode. You've been hidden. You've been healing. You've been growing. You've been evolving. 
And now you're about to be seen. You just didn't belong with those people that you were with. They weren't an energetic match for you. But Source is sending you your soul tribe. And Source is sending people to you that you're supposed to be a light to. You're supposed to help guide them out of the darkness. With the Hermit card. Ashe family. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Soul Star Activation is the next card. 30, 33, 3, 3, 3 again, family on the clock. Soul Star Activation, family. Mm. Fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are. The soul star chakra is the energy center that is found around 6 to 12 inches above the crown and connects us directly with soul wisdom. It is our gateway to the etheric realms which hold all the lessons of all the incarnations that we have experienced. Through our soul star, we access information and wisdom like a computer connecting to the internet through broadband. Instead of having to move through the dimensions to access the information, we can remain connected at all times and download support as necessary. The Egyptian god Horus appears on this card as our spiritual guide. His hawk head image is said to illustrate his connection to the sun, moon, and stars. As a keeper of energetic portals to hidden realms, he can help us remember our starry origins, open psychic vision, and connect directly with the wisdom that is held in the stars. Y'all are from another world. They're talking a lot about stars, man. <laughs> How to connect. Imagine yourself in a wide open space under a night sky filled with stars. Say, Horus, cosmic sky, guardian, thank you for activating my soul star chakra so that I can remember on a soul level your message. And I say message is going to come in, family. You're going to start remembering things. That's you're going to get that mental clarity with the ace of swords and the knight of swords. Through your previous journeys, you have learned much about the inner workings of your soul and about the cycles of karma. Before this incarnation, you set a powerful intention to remember your divine origins. At this point, you are in a powerful space, for you are remembering who you truly are. And you know that you have it within you to make a great difference in your own life. The lives of those you love and, of course, the world. This remembering is in alignment with the soul contracts you made before coming to this realm. If you find yourself wondering if you are making the right decisions, know that even if you aren't conscious of it, all that you have chosen so far is in accordance with your soul's evolutionary plan. And when you draw this gateway, you are opening up on higher levels. Don't you leveling up, family? You moving up. I just moving on up <laughs> to the east side. You're moving up to the east side, family. The Venusian Galactic Council. Star being guides. Answer the call. Time to shine, family. It's your time. It's your time. Time. It's your time to shine, family. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. All right, family. The Venusians are advanced cosmic beings similar to angels who come from the planet Venus. They are our starry ancestors and are dedicated to helping us experience and embody divine love. There are millions of them, and many of us will have them working with us as guides. If you feel drawn to this information or strongly connected to the stars or star people, <laughs> there's a good chance that there are many extraterrestrial beings around you at this time many of whom will be connected to the Venusian Galactic Council. 
governed by Lady Venus and Sanat Kamara. The Venusian Galactic Council is a divine board of directors who are responsible for recruiting light workers and leaders on earth who have the potential to make a huge difference by following the call of their soul. When they come to us, it's an honor and an opportunity to be reminded of a connection that was active before we came into this incarnation. There's no set way of working with the Venusians, but they will contact us in dreams or meditation to share information <laughs> that will support us on our journey. They often send spiritual downloads in thought forms or understandings. Dreams about flying or being in space are other ways in which they will come through to us. How to connect on a bright starry night, say, Venusian Galactic Council, thank you for helping me answer the call of my soul. Your message. This is a call to action. You are being asked to step up and create the changes you want to see in the world. You have a reason for being here and you have the potential to inspire, support, and heal your corner of the world. Don't let this information scare you or overwhelm you. For you are being prepared energetically to step into this role. The ideas you have been having recently are divine downloads, but you aren't being called to make dramatic changes to your life, simply to move forward step by step. The Venusian Galactic Council will reveal more information to support you. Be aware of downloads of information and spiritual signs, for they are a community confirmation that you are on the right path i say family and that was the last card of the the book of the deck and with the will of fortune like they said you're leveling up your it's your time you are it's time for you to step up and shine and create the world that you want to see the healing that you did like I said, you're going to be an example. You did the work. You were diligent. The The work that the people before you didn't want to do, you actually came through and you did it. You saved the day with the Knight of Swords, with the, the Knight of Wines. You are your bloodline's knight in shining armor. You did that. You are that being. And you are that light, that star that is going to guide the wise star with the star card and the hermit. You are the wise star that is going to guide your bloodline to the next level. Guide your bloodline out of the darkness into wealth with the Queen of Pentacles. Into emotional stability. Into um, a closer, healthy family unit with the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. You're also going to guide others with the Six of Wands. You're going to be victorious and you're going to be influential. You're going to be an inspiration. You're not just going to help your bloodline. You're going to help the world. And you will possibly help the world before your other family outside of your intermediate family jumps on board. You'll probably help the world first <laughs> and then your other family might come aboard. But you are going to be an inspiration. You're going to be a leader. You are going to be victorious, family. You, you're figuring out if you haven't you're figuring out who you are or you're about to remember who you are. That spiritual work that you did gave you enlightenment and wisdom. And you're figuring out who you are. And the Lumerians and the Venusians, they are guiding you and assisting you and they are supporting you. So not only are you going to get help, they're going to send people in the physical to help you. They're helping you on the spiritual side along with your ancestors and your guides. But also... <sighs> They're going to send people on the physical to help you. You are being embraced and enveloped by light. All of these cards have light and stars in them. You're, you, you know what your mission is now. So don't give up. Keep going. Keep pushing forward. Don't allow fear. Don't allow other people's opinions to stop you. Because they don't matter. Those emotions don't matter. It's irrelevant. It's low. It's on a lower frequency. You have elevated and evolved from that lower frequency, family. That's not a part of <laughs> your reality anymore. The sooner you realize that, the better. 
The sooner you can start making these moves and moving with confidence and integrity. That's what the Knight of Wands is and the Six of Wands is. You're going to start moving with confidence. Pick your head up. You've been working so hard with the Eight of Pentacles. You've been in Hermit mode, looking down with the Star card. You've been healing. You've been looking down. You need to pick your head up. Pick your head up, family. And keep looking forward. Keep pushing forward. You got this. All right, family. I love you. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. Respect yourself. Um, protect yourself. And get out there and shine like the beautiful bright light that you are. Know that you are divinely provided for and protected. Know that you are divinely supported and loved. And that you are embraced by the light, family. All right, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, um, and share. Have a great day. Peace, family.